All right, coming up next, the matchup for the UFC heavyweight division title. Well, for a long time, he's been mentioned with the baddest men on the planet. For a long time, though, the title fight eluded him. Not anymore. Here he is, the number one heavyweight contender, finally making this walk and cracking a smile. He's waited a long time for this. He's not expecting a 25-minute war. He believes he has the power and the skills to get this thing done quickly. I guess we'll find out. continues one of the greatest heavyweight legacies the Octagon has ever seen. Our tale of the tape for this heavyweight championship fight four years apart with big differences in height and reach. All right, we send it inside the octagon to the veteran voice, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Dan Mergliata. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City. It's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC Heavyweight Championship of the World. If it is the first. Fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a boxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet six inches tall, weighing in at 211 pounds. Fighting out of Apia Samoa, presenting the challenger, the Cobra. And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a grappler, holding a professional record of 28 wins. No losses. He stands five feet ten inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of the Republic of Dagestan, Russia, ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Habib the Eagle, This is for the UFC Championship. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. I want a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, go back to your corners, come out fighting. They touch him up, and we are underway. You ready? So here we go with round one, and when you have what looks like a classic matchup of striker versus grappler, it doesn't always play out that way, but given what these fighters said to us on Thursday, the game plan is pretty good. They're very clear game plans, but which one of them is able to implement the game plan most effectively? The grappler will try to get forward, get close, try to secure takedowns. He's even willing to pull guard 
to make sure that he is in the grappling situation. The striker needs to stay at space. The striker needs to maintain distance and fight behind that beautiful jab he possesses. Oh, big punch lands. Well, you saw the tail of the tape. He has a reach advantage and made good use of it there with that punch. That shot blocked by Nurmagomedov. Oh, that's a beautiful strike there by Khabib. Don't call him a one-trick pony. Don't call him a one-trick pony, John, because he isn't. He is a guy that is able to mix everything up inside the octagon. And there comes the separation now. Big foot lands over the top. How's he going to follow this one? Very tricky when he throws that body. So there it is. Longer reach paying dividends as he counters with a punch. Right here, punch with the clinch. And now he's oh, got he the tosses into the mat. Now we'll see what he can do from here, DC. Right into side control. He's going to try to control him, then find a submission. Oh! oh. The turn on the elbow. He's going to change the submission finish. to watch. Side control now, and certainly I would think more offensive options for the bottom fighter than in half guard. Absolutely more offensive options, because now you can just start to get away. You can just go to a wrestler stand-up, get to your knees, post your hands, don't allow him to get his hooks in, right? Really be aware of the hooks. But get to your hands, stand up, fight the hands, break away and escape. But it's so much more free-flowing than a half guard in the side control, because all you need to do is just get the opponent's body up because his legs are just free to move. His legs are not controlling anything. His legs are just free, so you have more freedom to use yours. Man, this is some serious ground and pound. He's trying to put this dude's head, like, through the canvas. He's one of the better ground and pound fighters we have in the entire UFC, and you're seeing why. Well, he's got his back now. Under two minutes to go in the round. Oh, nicely done there as he escapes back to his feet. Just out of range with that left hook. Trying to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. and he does so right after catching the leg. So maybe you thought he would catch the leg and go for a takedown. Instead, he goes for the punch, and he certainly found the range on that one. Oh, lands a stiff punch there. Nice connection. Oh, nice land. That's a pretty good right hand there by your teammate, Khabib Nurmagomedov. You're so worried about the wrestling that when the hands come, you're not expecting it. Changes levels now, DC. Oh, man, he was in a single back to a high crotch. Oh, oh my God, he switched the lock to a high crotch rotate. His opponent squirming like a fish out of water now. The ground and pound is on point. This could very well be the beginning of the end. This could be the beginning of the end. We've seen some real good ground and pound fighters. This young man is as good as any we've ever seen. Oh, the ground and pound strikes continue to rain down. The opponent better move out of harm's way. The referee's oh, now trying to isolate an arm, DC. He needs to move his hips back to cover. He cannot allow him on that angle. Attacking arm ball. about this fight, folks. You see, he was nearly caught in a submission there right at the end of the round, saved by the bell. So back to the stool, mentally probably not in a great place here. We'll see if he can recover and get himself back into this fight. All right, so there's the end of the round, and on one side, thrill on the other agony after that knockdown.
Yeah, he was able to really damage him with that big punch. You see the hands, the speed, how sharp he is, how technical he is. It allows him to land in spots where his opponent is winging punches. Great strike landed, great punch landed to put his opponent down. Okay, round two, you ready? You ready? Let's go. All right, round two. Oh, how about it? Huge kick landed. Slips that left hand. Right hand punches the clinch. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Big kick land. Nice job to land the knee there by the taller fighter. And I think I just heard Danny Cormier say, I wish I was a little bit tall. No bother though. Ground and pound is good. Probably my favorite striking realm in MMA, and he's as good as it gets. The problem is his opponent is not controlling his posture. He's allowing his opponent to get up, and when he does, create this space to land these beautiful ground and pound combinations. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. Side control now, DC. A lot of options at his disposal from here. Now he's gonna try to attack Kimura here. And this might just be a matter of time. Submits him with the arm bar. How about that? Great job. Great performance. it done by submission tonight, champ. He was able to get the fight to the ground exactly where he wanted it. Eventually, his opponent gave him an opportunity to get a submission. He did that, and he should be very proud of the work he did tonight in the octagon. So what a moment for the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world getting it done tonight and with style points as he submits his opponent to win the UFC title. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Bergliata has called a stop to this contest at 1 minute 56 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by tap out. And still. So we hear and still tonight, our UFC heavyweight champion came in with a lot of pressure, a lot of height, and he successfully defends the title here tonight. With all that pressure, he never changes his approach. He always does exactly what he says he's going to do, and he remains the champion in the UFC's biggest and most dangerous division.